Uh, I think it's too simple to say that this is going to damage all renewables. Solar in particular is making great gains. It's becoming cheaper year by year to develop solar. I think in the US now, we're very close to solar being at grid parity, i.e. doesn't need any subsidies at all. Uh, that's not true for all the renewables. I think some of the high cost wind is going to be under threat. I also think that the really expensive forms of energy such as nuclear are uh, going to be damaged if these prices persist, as I think they will. I think OPEC now is, is simply Saudi Arabia and the other members of OPEC have to follow what the Saudis do. I think if you're right and if uh, shale continues to be resilient, which it has been so far, there are now some doubts, but if it were to be resilient, I think the pressure would be on the Saudis to cut their own production in order to keep prices at any sort of reasonable level. We're not quite there yet, uh, but I think that's the way it's going. And the other members of OPEC uh, are price takers. They can't influence what happens. The decisions are made in, in Riyadh. I think it's doomed to succeed. I think that the political pressure to come up with some declaration that can be counted as, uh, as progress is very strong. And therefore, what I suspect we'll get is a lot of countries making commitments and then uh, that will be very hard to translate into reality. Uh, the industry is preparing for a period of instability because of oil prices. I think they're not yet convinced that there's going to be a global deal on climate. Some of them recognize that in some parts of the world there's going to be sufficient regulation and perhaps carbon pricing that will encourage them to move into renewables. And some are doing that. But I think in general, you see hydrocarbons still having a very strong long-term future, whether it's good for the climate or not. I think what we're seeing now is an adjustment across the industry to something that is going to become normal for probably three or five years. There's a real surplus of production over demand and the problems in China emphasize the fact that that will, will not be removed quickly. So I think the industry is now adjusting all its investment plans, spending, staffing levels, the whole thing is now adjusting to this new and lower level.